I am often and easily distracted, especially when I'm in prayer. Whether I'm going to mass or adoration or trying to pray by myself in my room, I often get distracted by the people and things around me or the thoughts swirling around in my head or whatever I, I'm going through at that moment. And I find it hard to focus. I find it hard to concentrate. But when I think of the fourth station, when Jesus meets his mother Mary, what really strikes me is the gaze between the two of them. That amidst the chaos and the madness of this crowd who's mocking him and spitting at him and calling him names, he and his mother are able to have this one moment where their eyes are totally fixed on one another. And this gaze allows them to have this strength and perseverance to keep going. For Jesus gives him the strength to continue to take up his cross all the way to Calvary where he'll be crucified and he dies. And for his mother Mary, it's giving her this hope, this strength to continue to say yes, to say, let thy will be done, just as she did at the Annunciation. And we know that in Luke chapter 2, it says that Mary's heart will be pierced by this sword and that she's going to suffer greatly for having to watch her son die this terrible, awful death. And we can look at Mary as our model for the times when we're facing these trials and tribulations and struggles, when we feel like we're totally in the middle of chaos and messiness of life. We can look towards Mary and focus on her and how she's looking at her son and knowing that she's rooted in this gaze of love. That's where our identity lies as sons and daughters of the Father. It's rooted in his gaze of love. And so my challenge to you this Lent is, how are you remaining rooted in his gaze of love? Are you frequenting the sac sacraments more? Are you going to prayer more? Are you spending more time with your family or volunteering somewhere? What are you doing to remain rooted in this gaze of love? What are you doing to remain steadfast in him so that one day we can make it home to heaven.